So John, a three-one defeat against um, an informed Chester side. What are your thoughts on the performance of the game? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a difficult game. Um, I think they, they were second in form table leading into the game. We were third, so we knew it was going to be, you know, an interesting game. I thought the first 10-15 minutes we started well, started bright on the front foot, played some good stuff. Then I think um, after that we we stopped playing, especially in their half, and give the ball away too much. You know, they got back into the game a little bit, and it was a bit of a probably battle for the next 25-30 minutes. Just said to them at half time, you, you need to be brave and get on the ball and play. Um, find your passes, switch play quickly because they were quite a narrow team defensively. Um, you know, and but keep defending like we've been defending because first half we were nice and solid. But second half didn't really pan out that way. It was a bit of a you know with the wind as well. We couldn't get the ball down and play like we normally do. And then the goals we conceded were poor. I think the first one, you know, set play corner against well worked corner. Obviously the words on training, but we didn't go with the man and. He's had an easy shot and probably the guy in the near post should clear it. Um, so that was a bit gutting to lose a goal so, so, so early. And then um, obviously the second goal, you know, um, again, our own mistakes really. You know, we, we were in control of the ball. I think the ball's come out to Watto on the edge of the, um, their box and he's gone to head it into, back into the box and he's misjudged his header and it's gone straight to them and the counter attacked. Um, but, too easy again. We didn't get back. Uh, you know, even if Watto did lose the ball, we need to get back quick, quicker, and defend our goal. And we didn't do that, so we were two 0 down. Uh, we tried to change things up a little bit. Um, went with three players up front and tried to get back in the game, and we did. You know, we got got back into the to the game with a great finish by Watto, and then you think, you know, right now let's go for it and you know get the ball down and get the ball up to the three lads up front and um, it just it was one of those where nothing seemed to fall or you know if, if we did have a nice few passes then we'd give it away and I think um, the third goal was exactly the same as the, the, the two other goals really it was just you know where, where we've got the ball in control quick uh, you know um, break in play and they they, they go and counter attack and score and again defensively we, we're not happy with the goal but Listen, you know, um, the boys are gutted in there, you know, unbelievable atmosphere today with the fans, you know, great turnout. So the boys have, feel like they've let the, the fans down a little bit. Um, and I just said to them, you haven't, you know, um, a lot of people were, were saying to you, to you before the season, you're going to get relegated, you know, all the betting companies, all the people um, on social media were saying we were favourites to get relegated and you still sat here fourth in the league, you know, after 20 games. So they've got a lot, a lot to be proud of. Yeah, we were at our best today. Uh, it wasn't from lack of effort, commitment. Um, you know, the, the words, the socks off, but it was probably more quality-wise today. We didn't have that usual usual quality we normally do. Um, certain players, and you need every single player at it, every single game to win a game of football. And, and credit to Chester, you know, um, defensively they were they were solid. You know, the two centre halves they did everything out of the box. They worked the socks off as well, and um, but we weren't quite on it today, so that's a little bit disappointing. But like I said, still proud of the lads. You know, fourth in the league after 20 games, um, loads of positives to take. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things to touch on, um, Luke Coville came off um, during the second half, it looked like hamstring. Yeah. Is it? What's the situation? Well, yeah, he's, he's just obviously sprinting for the ball, and he just felt his hamstring go a little bit, so probably won't know anything for a couple of days, to be honest with you, but. Hopefully it's not a really bad strain. Fingers crossed, maybe two, three weeks. Hopefully it's not torn it, and you know that could obviously be longer, more like four, four to six weeks. So we'll reassess it in a couple of days. Hopefully it won't be as bad as as, as what we think, and um, he can be back in two, three weeks. But yeah, it'd be a major blow if he if he has done his hammy bad. So um, we'll have to maybe try and bring somebody in. But um, yeah, Luke has been brilliant for since he's come in. So I'm disappointed for him because I know he'd be good because he loves playing football. So that's that's a big disappointment as well. Mm -hmm. And now we um, turn our attention to Southport. We've got a week to turn around, pick ourselves up, and go again. Yeah, I just said to the boys in there, um, you know, just like I said to you there, I said, listen, we're still fourth in the league. Um, you've been terrific. You know, your attitude and commitment's always on point. You know, even when you don't play well, um, I think the fa fans see that as well. And um, you know we're just lacking quality today, but now we need a reaction. You know um, the good thing about these boys is when we have had a little dip or we have we have had a little defeat, we've we've always bounced back. You know with good performance and a, a, a good win or draw. So um, just said to the boys now, we refocus, 
we get together again and train this week and we go to Southport with the determination to put a good performance on them and get a, a good a good win because uh, it won't be easy. They're a very direct team. Um, they're quite good at home as well. They have a, a, a good back in and um, you know it's an early kick off as well, twelve thirty kick off. So um, you know our boys probably are used to playing that early. So um, we'll be travelling the day before, preparing well, and hopefully um, put in a performance where you know we're good out of possession but good in possession as well and, and get three points and keep driving that league because. At the end of the day, we just want to do as well as possible and, and, and get as high as possible. So um, that's the main aim, one game at a time. Cheers, John. No worries, mate.